when choosing a quarterback for our youth system, you know, we, we look for the multi-sport athletes. We thrive on three-sport athletes in our school. It's usually football, basketball, baseball are the big three. We're starting to get a little more boys interested in track, which is great too. But we want a kid that plays a lot of sports, has been put in a lot of pressure situations. He might be the point guard in basketball, those kind of guys. We go, okay, they get, make smart decisions when the pressure's on. We also really like um, how accurate they are. When they're throwing, do they miss high or do they hit him in the chest or do they throw it in the dirt? You know, a kid that's really accurate, he doesn't have to have the strongest arm. He can make all the dink and dunk type passes and the good athletes can catch the ball and make something happen with it. And then are they a leader when things are not going their way? You know, you see a lot of kids, they hang their head, they start to pout uh, when things aren't going their way, throw their helmet. You know, we want to see a kid that's headstrong who, like, when something bad happens, he's like, hey, man, give me the ball. I want to take care of it. He's not going to be upset about that. He's going to put that bad decision behind him and, and lead his team to victory. Do they love football? Are they going to always make every every single thing you know we want them there in the summer lifting we want them there at our seven on sevens we want them to be there and be the guy and we've had that and it's shown on our play on the football field if they don't want to be that guy and they don't really love football then they're probably better off doing something else and then the last thing we look at is a strong arm how far can they throw it you know you need to be able to stretch the field but I think you can teach a kid to, if his arm's not as strong, to make a good read and deliver the ball downfield a little earlier too. Character traits of a good QB. You know, we want him to be a strong, positive leader. We want him to lead by example, outwork everyone, be a student of the game, be able to make quick decisions and live with it. That's a big one right there. It's just when when they make a decision, you don't care if it's in practice, if they throw a pick, you want them to see what they see and believe in it. You don't want them second guessing and hitching because when you second guess, that's when you make a, a bad throw. We also want them to be a great communicator. Will they talk with the coaches and the players? Can they tell you what's going on? You know, when they come off the field, it's hard when you've had a, a quiet quarterback that's um, sometimes a little more difficult. This past year, my guy was a great, great player, very limited in communicating. When we try to banner ideas, it would have to be on Monday and Tuesday during our film because during the game he was just locked in and he really didn't want to converse. He just wanted me to tell him what he needed to do.